Hey team, wanted to make a quick video. Um, I know that it is hunting season. Um, they start out with bow hunting. Um, and I think they're starting with guns, uh, coming up. Um, I am vegan and, um, I try to be as pacifist as I can be. I'm not a big fan of violence. Um, I have been known to say, well, this fighting sequence is too long and boring, uh, when it comes to action flicks. Uh, I am not, I don't get into that stuff too often. <laughs> so, um, so, um, vegan, not really into violence. Uh, um, I did get certified to be a trainer in archery, uh, when I worked at a camp uh, many years ago. Um, that was super fun. I did not correlate it to hunting, uh, in any way. So it was kind of disconnected, um, to its origins in that it was just a, a camp activity, <laughs> um, hand-eye coordination and, you know, strategy and, you know, uh, things like that. So, um, it was not, ab archery was not about hunting to me. Um, but I just wanted to talk about it because, um, there was a little bit of tension there. Um, like, am I allowed to support hunters? Um, you know, can I say good job when I don't believe in killing animals? Um, and so I wanted to make a video because, um, it is, I, I don't believe in killing animals. Um, I am an adult. And so I recognize that my opinion does not matter to a lot of people. Um, I know that not consuming animals, um, helps to save the planet. A lot of, um, resources go into agricultural maintenance of food animals. And, um, I, think that, and he, that's, that's obviously not hunting, that's domestic animals. Um, but I do think that, um, hunting, um, animals, first off, having animals out in the natural environment, um, versus in, um, in small areas. I like that idea, like the free range, um, just thinking animal ethics, animal rights. Um, I like that a lot. I like natural, um, uh, natural environments for the animals. Obviously they are domesticated. Um, so I do know, um, obviously, um, if a lot of resources and agricultural resources are going to, um, animals that are domestic and essentially being raised to be slaughtered, um, to me, that seems very unethical and not ideal. Um, and that was one of the reasons I became vegetarian in the first place in 2006. Um, and so, um, it's, I will say, you know, I am a realist. I know that, um, that's, you know, um, obviously there are a lot of health benefits to eating meat and, um, we are equipped to do so. Um, a lot of things, you know, we're trying to find, um, the nutrients, um, that correlate from a meditarian or, you know, like a carnivorous diet to, um, to a vegetarian vegan diet, trying to make sure that all of the bases are covered nutrient wise, um, to, just to make sure, you know, f folks stay healthy. Um, and I think that's a very valiant effort. Um, I think it's very important. Um, and I don't know, uh, if the research has been completed, obviously, like I said, um, meat diets do have a lot of nutrients. I know I'm trying to figure out a collagen source, um, that is vegan and, um, I have to do more research yet. I've heard that that's generally just bovine, uh, um, as a source. Um, but, uh, anyway, so that's a side tangent, but, um, I will say that obviously research is in the works. Um, I, I was not keen on raising animals to be slaughtered. Um, so talking about hunting, um, they technically, I do think that's in theory, they are not meant to, um, just be used as our food source. Um, they are biodiverse, um, entities that are populating our planet. Um, uh, deer, you know, um, pheasants, you know, whatever you're hunting for. Um, they have a free range. They have lives outside of us hunting them, um, or thinking of them as a food supply. Um, 
and so that appeals to me, obviously. Um, I do also think that since they are able to um, be out in nature and kind of provide for themselves, um, it would it would definitely be more environmentally friendly if um, we thought of, like, say, deer as a food source just because um, they are able to eat trees and bark and plants and things um, and those get watered naturally through rain and the environment um, whereas um, you know a lot of our agricultural supplies are going towards corn and you know feedstocks um, that are taking extra water I think I think it was 70 percent of water is going to agriculture right now um, and that's split in a whole bunch of different ways for where that's going, um, for uh, animals, for um, ethanol production. Um, but um, I think that swapping out our need for that um, is not a bad idea. So hunting, again, has that appeal that we are not um, mindfully um, using that much water for feed for animals that could potentially feed themselves, um, i.e. deer. Um, but again, I, you know, I also tend, I like to be supportive and I like to promote, um, hobbies and interests. And, um, I will say that since archery and, you know, like shooting it, since it's not part of my, um, my gambit um I guess it's not a part of my rhetoric really um you know it was just like at, at camp it's like try to aim and hit the hit your target um it didn't really have to do with death or um with you know survival um it was just a hobby and I generally tried to be um pretty supportive. Um, yeah, you got what you were hoping for. You know, <laughs> you hit a target that you wanted. Um, so it's, but you know, everyone's a little like, can I tell you that I got a deer? Or, you know, if they're that person, they're like, yeah, I got a deer vegan. What are you going to say about it? Um, <laughs> um, so it's, I'll be honest. I, I do think that finding food sources, that are natural, um, and can find food outside of our, our agricultural water footprint, um, would be more environmentally friendly. Um, it also is more earned, I think, than just slaughtering something that you raise. Um, so that it's, in theory, it's more ethical. Um, of course, like, well, why would you have any right to go out into nature and kill something? That's another ethical question. Like, it's their home. It's their rules. You know, uh, it's the balance of nature. And, um, but that's, you know, um, if it depends on if we're taking, um, you know, a homo sapien centric, you know, uh, viewpoint of the earth and its balance. Um, obviously we generally see ourselves as the top of the food chain. There are predators that could take us down easy if they wanted to, but, um, we have strategies in place to, um, to defend ourselves and generally they wouldn't attack us, um, out in nature. <laughs> so, um, so, um, Yes. <laughs> but, um, but I, I will say that, um, I do not much care for hunting. Um, I love archery though. I love the idea of it. I haven't done it for so long that it is like, another thing that is, um, you know, like a, a, you know, a long time ago, it was something I, I liked. And so I generally try to be pretty supportive of it. I think it's kind of fun, tr um, trying to learn the skill of, uh, hitting your goals. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that one, you know, is more physical in nature than anything else. Um, but, um, I think that that's nice for sure. So, um, yeah. So, but, uh, you know, I, I do think that there are a lot of merits to it. And so I'm not going to, you know, it's one of those just weird ethical, like, no, I don't much care for it, but also there are worse things in the world. Um, I'm still going to promote a vegan vegetarian, um, emphasis on nutrition, um, just for nutritional reasons, um, or resource reasons. Um, I, uh, became vegetarian a long time ago, um, because of, well, for personal reasons, um, I, you know, more, um, 
more kind of socio-emotional, um, ethical reasons. Um, I didn't want to see them used or abused um, in order to feed society. Um, it sounded like they were going through some terrible, terrible things, and I did not want to perpetuate that um, because of my personal needs. They didn't have to be tortured and have terrible life quali quality of life um, because I was hungry. Um, there's lots of other things to eat, so um, I... I stopped. I became a vegetarian. Um, and I still believe that 100%. I've been quoted as saying, well, I might be vegetarian again, but I'll, I'll never eat meat again. Um, and that is how I feel. Um, uh, vegan, I was more about the resources, um, the less um, we need for agriculture, the less we need for our own diets, um, the more that can go to others, um, and to other purposes as well. Um, so, um, I have been researching like eating native Minnesota plants and, um, I think that that will definitely help to improve, um, poten potentially, uh, help improve, um, agricultural water footprints, um, and other potential issues with runoff and things like that. Um, I, I, I think that that's great. Um, great to experiment with. Um, so, um, I, uh, that being said, of course, you know, I am a realist and I know that other people don't give a fly enough what I think in this scenario. Um, <laughs> steak is their favorite food. Pepperoni was mine. I'm not kidding. Um, so we can talk about it, but, um, I, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, sometimes things just change who you are and who you want to be. And, um, I feel better for having made my choice and, um, that's that. So, um, that being said, I, I'm like pseudo supportive of hunters. No, I don't want to see it. No. <laughs> I have had venison before, um, before I became vegetarian, one of my friends had venison for dinner when I was over one time. So <laughs> I don't really remember it at all, but, <laughs> um, so, um, I, I do think I am in, mild support of of that i think that it's a step in a good direction um because of the resources i could potentially save again um if we can use our natural natural resources the things that are available to us um i think that will help uh lessen the load um of what we're trying to put there um and supply when uh, resources are already in place that can do the job credibly so um woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. um otherwise um if it's going to be weird, no, we don't have to talk about it. I, <laughs> it's still like a up down, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those like weird gray areas where it's like, yes, but also no, you know, yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> so, um, and a lot of people might not, that might not sit well with a lot of folks. And obviously there are those people that are like, I'm going to show you anyway, look, this is the antlers. <laughs> oh, that's blood. It's coming out <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I gutted it upside down. <laughs> and you're like, oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but good talk, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>